If you want to live in harmony with your partner, then consider heading off to the Aronoff Center this weekend. Here with more is Amadeo Fusca, star of Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Oh, hour. thanks so much for having me. Just got into town late last night. Oh, Feeling okay? Got here at midnight, you know, woke up at 8 a.m., had my coffee, had my tea, and just shot down here to the studio. You know, the thing that surprised me most just when we were chatting here in the commercial break is you have been doing this show Whew. for eight years. Eight years, just That's, making the rounds around the globe, man. Is it a is is it a grind or is it fun because you keep finding new things? It's a lot of fun because I keep finding new things and every yeah. city's different. You know, there's all these um, parts in the show where I'm like insert local flavor here, especially yeah. if they have a sports team that's going on that night too. And just whatever's going on in the city, I find the local foods, the local uh, landmarks and, and just every show I kind of surprise myself with something new I find in the moment on stage or with the audience. You know, I've made it a lot more immersive with the audience, letting them kind of respond and my improv off their well, and that's that's what I was going to ask. How much is improv and how much is I've got to hit this yeah. every night? Well, it's mainly scripted, but for the most part, uh, like I'd say about 40% of the time I'm kind of going off script and kind of just lending myself to audience reactions or there's a there's a part in the show where I don't want to give anything away where I, oh, look at that old picture of me. <laughs> uh, look at that so guy I right there. Looking, like, that was like eight years ago. <laughs> uh, I interview some audience members too and I let them kind of answer questions and see what's going on throughout and then I'll have some callbacks throughout the show. But it's, uh, no, it's a lot of fun. I keep it uh, really fresh for me, just finding new things. In the in addition to finding the sort of the local flavor, mm -hmm. do certain. Hmm. Do certain things work in certain parts of the country that don't work in other parts of the country? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I'm from Pittsburgh originally, and I talk about that. Oh, so you know, I mean, a yeah. lot of, yeah, yeah a lot so of. when I'm in Ohio, I just went from Cleveland. So when I start talking about Pittsburgh and Cleveland, I have to get ready for the booze or whatever and <laughs> sure. fall to the stage and just, you know, act that out. But since he won't be that bad, I don't think. But there's a little bit of rivalry. Yeah, with the, the Steelers yeah, thing it'll, 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 yeah, yeah, I talk about the Steelers a lot, too, in the show, so. But uh, yeah, no, there's there's definitely things that uh, different parts of the country that work. But um, I, I I shoot my shots, you know. I, yeah. I'm like screwed. I'm just gonna be edgy <laughs> tonight and uh, <laughs> you know likable and act it out, and hopefully everybody will respond. And if they don't respond in a good way, I'll respond off their response. So you know, going back to when the book came out, it, it had such this impact. It was you mm -hmm. know everywhere in terms of pop culture yeah. references and that kind of thing. There's been an evolution of, I think, where we are in relationships from the book and probably from when you uh -huh. started the show. Do you, do you see that? Do you feel that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, especially since the world has kind of changed, obviously it's always changing, but there's definitely been an evolution of, you know, how certain things that used to play when we did it eight years ago don't play as much, and I've had to uh, definitely You're do like, my Ooh. research and homework and kind of say, okay, well, this part's not as, let me just, you know, find the ways that, the, or the buzzwords here that'll get the audience going. Because at the end of the day, I'm like a cartoon character on stage that's just here to make you laugh and uh, make you enjoy a great night out. That's awesome. And you have several shows this weekend. How many are you doing? Yeah, we got four. We got one tonight, two tomorrow, one Sunday. Whew. So, and throw then, me into the lines. Then, then on to the next. On to the next. Yeah, I think uh, we have a little bit of a break before we go to the next. I got. I got to Minnesota. I got to Minnesota okay. in a couple of weeks. When you're in a town and it's it's just sort of whirlwind like this, mm -hmm. where you're going to be doing four shows, and obviously you're throwing in local flavor, talking about local restaurants or sports mm -hmm. teams or whatever. Do you ever get a chance to actually go out and enjoy any of those things when you're in a town? Yeah, you know, I get to go to the casinos a lot. You know, so I'll probably go to the Jack <laughs> Casino now, later. Yeah. Tonight. yeah, I've been here a few times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, yes and no. I mean, you know, I'll stay an extra day sometimes, or I'll get in a day early and. Yeah. And um, I have uh, a lot of cousins here, which is good. I have oh, a big cool. Italian family all over the country. So nice. usually when I go to these places, I have somebody I can hang out to. They come to the show. We hang out after. They'll show me a cool spot. But, Very uh, good. But, yeah, sometimes it is in and out. On to the next. Yeah. Well, we hope you have fun while yeah, you're here Thank in you so much. Appreciate yeah. you coming in this morning. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll get more ticket information up for you at uh, Local12.com. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest. You don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.